Hello, this is SGX Sector Connect. I'm Mark Laudy. Recently, TA Corp was one of the companies presenting to investors. The chief financial officer, Yap Ming Chu, was uh, the presenter. The full presentation in a few moments. First, some key highlights. So we believe we were been in a very good position to capture more construction contracts because we have been around for so many years. We have very good reputation. We have very good network with the blue chip developers, and we have the resources, both in manpower as well as financial resources, to carry out any work. And now let's see Yap Ming Chu's full presentation. Good evening again to everybody. Uh, thanks for taking time to attend this, this talk. Uh, let me introduce to you TA Corporation Limited. We have been around for more than 40 years. Uh, in the initial stage, in the early days, we were called Tiong Ek Construction, if, you're, if you can uh, remember the name. Uh, we are still uh, having a subsidy called Tiong Ek. Uh, during those days, we were known as the king of HDB. Uh, we built a lot of HDB uh, flats. Um, over the next 15 years, we have diversified into real estate and uh, we have built uh, those small to medium size. That means we, we have not uh, exceeded uh, like uh, maybe three, 400 units per development. And uh, recently we have uh, expanded our presence into China, Thailand and Cambodia for real estate uh, development. And recently, we have also included distribution of high-performance lubricants in Myanmar, which we have made announcement uh, to the public that we have gotten a shell license to distribute lubricant in the country. Like, like what I mentioned just now, for our real estate segment, we have gained a very solid reputation as a developer of uh, uh, quality development in a good location at very competitive pricing. We normally don't price it to the top range because we believe buyers should have some benefit of price increases. And uh, we focus on those small to medium-sized residential. And also, we, because we have been in the construction for many years, we can leverage on our competency in doing this construction business in this real estate. And uh, we have a venture, let's like say, into overseas. Uh, why JV? Because we believe that the local uh, knows their country better. So we partner those uh, locals with good network, with good uh, knowledge of the local real estate business and venture into China, Thailand and Cambodia. Now for construction, we have, uh, like I say, over 40 years of solid reputation. We partner uh, blue chip developers. There are not many uh, that we, uh, uh, that are client, but they are repeat customer for our construction business. So, like I say, we partners uh, just a few handful blue chip developers that have been a repeat customer for our construction sectors. And we have built very iconic project like the School of the Art, which is SOTA School of the Art, uh, St James Power Station, and Escort Raffles Place. I'll show you more of our uh, uh, development later on. Now, next is, uh, this is our other sectors, which without uh, neglecting our two core segments, that is the real estate and construction, we are, we are uh, strategically trying to build another sector, that is the distribution of lubricants. In, um, in uh, 2003, we joined venture with a Burmese company called Synergy Resources. In March 2013, we got awarded a distributorship license by Shell to distribute lubricant in Myanmar. These are the complementary business for our construction segments. We have an uh, air conditioning uh, division, which is able to design, install, and maintain air con for commercial and uh, private residential buildings. We have an in-house fabrication of metal frameworks. This basically does uh, in-house uh, 
metal uh, fabrication for our construction business. And we have a test center which we established in India. Uh, it's a BCA approved test center since uh, 12 years, more than 12 years ago. And recently, we've been awarded a testing and uh, training center in Singapore. This is to be in line with the government uh, uh, push to raise productivity. That means for construction worker, instead of single skill, we have a training and test center which will equip the construction worker to be multi skilled That will raise their productivity. And uh, recently, we also got the approved license to run a test and training center in the Philippines, which we are in the process of setting up. 